So what do you think makes Tom Cruise such a, uh, a big movie star? Whoever said guys don't make passes at girls who wear glasses obviously never met Cheryl Schumann. Originally a model, Cheryl caught the eye of the entertainment industry by becoming Tinseltown's hottest eyewear specialist. In eight years now, I've worked on, on over 3,000 feature film and television projects. And what I do is I exclusively furnish eyewear and design eyewear for the film and television industry. So whenever an actor needs glasses or sunglasses in a film or TV show or commercial or uh, rock video or what have you, they call me, I read the script, break it down, and develop a character analysis, much the same as a costume designer would. Virtually every film that you see out there, if it has sunglasses or eyeglasses, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's something that we've, we've done. Yeah, those are mine. Did those? My life is glasses. I don't think so. When Harry Met Sally was really my big break, and I was actually brought in as a favor, and I remember when the actors were going through, they didn't really like anything that I had, and Meg Ryan turned around, and she said, well, what are the glasses that you have on? And they were my own personal glasses, and I said, well, these are mine, you know, and it's my own design and everything, you know. She goes, wow, you know, I like those. So she ended up wearing them in the film, and even though they were only in, like, six or seven scenes, so many people called on the glasses, and that was, like, my first real break. Shakespeare was a great film to work on. Um, Nick Nolte, on most of his characters in film and television, we, we almost always see the same exact glasses in every film. Another thing that's interesting about Nick Nolte's uh, glasses that he wore in that particular film is in the same year, he was also chosen as People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive and was uh, actually the first person ever on People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive featured wearing glasses. I'll have you know that's very important. Hollywood has a tendency toward the trendy, trendy cars, trendy bars, trendy neighborhoods of the stars. Hollywood's latest trend, glasses that help stars make spectacles of themselves. You got the look, you got the look. The look these stars wanted was the four-eyed kind. They needed glasses for their movie roles and they all came to the same person, Cheryl Schumann. I think they're not myself, I have no taste. Now watch what the doctor will do. <laughs> My biggest fan. I mean, how many other jobs do you know where you can work with Mel Gibson, Kevin Costner, and <laughs> Madonna? She works with some of the biggest stars in Hollywood, helping create their on-screen images in just about every major motion picture. No, she's not an agent, or manager, or publicist. She's Cheryl Schumann, optician to the stars. I gotta wear shades. One thing that I brought as an example, this, one of these, I'll let you try one on, and we'll stand side by side. One of these is a Paris original, and one is a copy. And Wait, I don't know sorry, if you can look see. in there. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> no, look over here. Where, where's the right? Okay. okay, there. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Mark's pointing at the wrong camera. Okay, which is the most anyway. expensive? The okay. most expensive. Now, the one that you're wearing is a $300 original from Paris. Well, The one I'm these. wearing is $39.95. You're I'll kidding. Take from where? I'll take the cheap I'll take the cheap knockoff. <laughs> Joining us today to show us how we can change our entire look with something as simple as a new pair of glasses. She is known as the optician to the stars. Please welcome Cheryl Schumann. Cheryl. Hey, Hi. good to have you back. Hi. All right. Hi. There's one woman that knows about glasses right here. Yeah, and she's gorgeous, too. Guys, this is still the best-selling frame in the country. Really? I don't know why. What do they call that? <laughs> Ugly. Uh, I'm making a note of that. Well, so what... <laughs> What we've done guy. is we've chosen some people from the audience mm -hmm. that had basically uh, some glasses that need to be improved on. Here's a beautiful woman, but her glasses are a little bit overpowering, a little bit too dark for her face, and they stand out a little bit too far from her bridge. So what we chose in her new glasses hey. is oh, basically that's a pretty. very soft, pretty piece of jewelry that goes with everything. Do you like that? I love her. It's like not wearing glasses. Oh, I love that show. Because it hides your beauty at accents. 
Now, as you see four glasses, one of the main things you'll notice is his eyes are almost to the tip top of the glasses, which is a big no-no. You want right. them to be more centered. Also, it's a little bit too dark for his face, and he has photogray lenses, which look kind of dingy That's indoors. a great tip, though. You said your eyes should line up in the center of your lens. A little bit more towards the center. That's a good look. Okay. Now, his new glasses. Cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. He looks at least 15 years younger. A little younger. And right. ironically, uh, these are the same exact glasses that Kevin Costner and Sylvester Stallone wear in real life. Okay. Yeah. And they just... <laughs> <laughs> okay by you. Yeah, I like them. I think a lot of people assume that if you're attractive at all and you're blonde and you're a girl, that, that you're not very bright. And that's a mistake on their part. Guys do make passes with girls that wear glasses and thank God. <laughs>